Imagine throwing a ball at a wall and seeing it magically appear on the other side without breaking the wall. Sounds impossible, right? In our everyday classical world, that would indeed be absurd. But in the realm of quantum mechanics, particles can do just that, pass through barriers in a phenomenon known as quantum tunneling. In this video, we'll explore how quantum tunneling works, why it's possible, and the profound implications it has on everything from nuclear fusion in stars to the chips in your smartphone. We'll break it down step by step in a way that's clear, visual, and absolutely fascinating. Quantum tunneling is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics. It refers to the ability of particles to pass through energy barriers, even when they seemingly don't have enough energy to do so. Unlike in classical mechanics, where particles need sufficient energy to overcome a barrier, quantum particles have a probability of appearing on the other side of the barrier. This is because particles at the quantum scale behave more like waves than like solid points. These waves can extend into and beyond barriers, allowing for a non-zero probability that the particle will be found on the other side. This is the essence of quantum tunneling. To understand tunneling, we must first understand the dual nature of particles. According to quantum mechanics, particles such as electrons, protons, and even atoms behave both like particles and waves. This wave nature is described by the wave function, a mathematical tool that gives the probability of finding a particle at a certain location. The wave function doesn't abruptly stop at a barrier. It gradually decreases, even inside the barrier, and may continue on the other side. So when a wave hits a barrier, part of it is reflected and part of it continues, albeit weakened. If the barrier is thin enough or the wave strong enough, the particle can tunnel through. The tunneling phenomenon can be mathematically understood using Schrodinger's equation. Schrodinger's equation describes how the wave function of a quantum system evolves over time. When a particle encounters a potential barrier higher than its energy, the wave function doesn't vanish. It decays exponentially within the barrier. If the barrier is thin, the decayed wave can extend to the other side, leading to a non-zero chance that the particle has tunneled through. This outcome is not due to any physical force pushing the particle through. It's a purely probabilistic event governed by the principles of quantum mechanics. Although quantum tunneling seems abstract, analogies help visualize it. Mountain analogy. In classical physics, a ball must roll over a mountain to reach the other side. In quantum mechanics, the ball has a chance to appear on the other side without going over it. Ghost wall analogy. Imagine a wall is like a ghost. Sometimes particles pass through it like a ghost walking through a wall. These analogies help grasp the strangeness of quantum behavior. Quantum tunneling is not just theoretical. It's essential to many natural and technological processes. Inside the sun, temperatures and pressures aren't quite high enough for protons to overcome their electrostatic repulsion. Yet fusion still occurs, thanks to quantum tunneling. Tunneling allows protons to get close enough to fuse, powering the sun and all life on Earth. The scanning tunneling microscope, STM, uses quantum tunneling to image surfaces at the atomic level. A sharp tip hovers above a surface, and electrons tunnel across the gap, allowing researchers to map the atomic landscape. Transistors and diodes rely on tunneling effects at nanoscale junctions. In quantum tunneling transistors, electrons tunnel through barriers, enabling ultrafast switching in microchips. Some nuclei undergo alpha decay, where an alpha particle tunnels out of the nucleus. Without tunneling, such decay would be impossible due to the energy barrier of nuclear forces. One fascinating aspect of tunneling is that particles seem to do it almost instantly. Some physicists argue tunneling may occur faster than light, but this doesn't violate relativity because no usable information travels faster than light. Experiments have attempted to measure tunneling times using attosecond lasers a billionth of a billionth of a second. The results are still debated, but the process appears to be extremely rapid. Tunneling is deeply tied to quantum superposition. 
A particle doesn't have a definite location until measured. It exists in a superposition of states, meaning it can be partially on both sides of a barrier until observed. This non-determinism is what allows for tunneling in the first place. It's not that the particle is breaking rules, it's simply playing by the quantum rulebook. The probability of tunneling depends on several factors. Barrier height. The higher the energy barrier, the lower the probability. Barrier width. A wider barrier also decreases the chance of tunneling. Particle energy. Higher energy particles tunnel more easily. This explains why tunneling is common at microscopic scales, but never observed with macroscopic objects like baseballs. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics, like the many worlds interpretation, suggest that every quantum event branches into multiple realities. In this view, quantum tunneling might not just be a probabilistic event. It might be a branching into another universe where the particle exists on the other side of the barrier. It's speculative, but it illustrates the mind-bending implications of tunneling. Tunneling plays a role in chemical reactions too. In reactions involving hydrogen transfer, tunneling can allow the hydrogen nucleus to move between atoms even when classical energy isn't sufficient. This is particularly important in enzyme reactions and cold chemistry where energy is limited. Quantum tunneling may help explain Hawking radiation. Near a black hole's event horizon, particle-antiparticle pairs form. One particle falls in and the other escapes, effectively tunneling out of the black hole. This leads to the gradual evaporation of black holes over time. It's a beautiful union of quantum physics and general relativity. Quantum tunneling isn't just theory, it's observed. Field emission. Electrons tunnel out of metal surfaces under strong electric fields. Josephson junctions. Superconducting circuits where tunneling pairs of electrons flow without resistance. Tunneling diodes. Diodes designed to exploit tunneling for fast switching. Quantum computers leverage quantum phenomena, including tunneling. Some quantum analysts use tunneling to find low-energy solutions in complex problems. Tunneling may help particles escape local minima and reach global solutions in optimization tasks. Quantum tunneling challenges our classical intuition, but perfectly aligns with quantum theory. It's a reminder that the universe at its core operates under rules that are fundamentally strange, yet beautiful. From powering stars to enabling the tech in our hands, quantum tunneling shows how even the weirdest ideas in physics can shape our reality in profound ways. If you've enjoyed this exploration of quantum tunneling, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into the fascinating world of physics. Thanks for watching, and remember, in the quantum world, even walls can't stop you.